Russia. He's already dealt with some adversity this week. He told us about a problem he had with one of his skates in practice a few days ago. Two days ago, I broke my blade in the practice. I, I've never broke my blade in my life, never. And it's happened first time right before the World Championship. And I was a little bit worried about that because it, it's hard to find the right size to change the blade. And I called home because I remember that I have to have one more, one more blade, one more pair of blade. And I called my parents and they told me, yeah, you've got it. And they just sent me. And next day I'll have it. And I put it in a place, in a boot, and make a new sharpener. So now it's, everything's fine. Ilya needed some help from Tamara Moskvina, who rerouted her plans through Moscow to pick up that new blade from his mother. Here he is in the men's short program. This guy's skating is so exciting to me, and it's so effortless. In the warm-up, he just did a triple lutz after two crossovers. It's, it's so wonderful. And this is his big combination coming up right here, triple axle, triple toe combination. Beautiful. I think almost as good as the others. The landing of the second jump was a back inside edge, but a quick turnaround. But that's nitpicking because the jump combination was really superb. The second element is triple lutz. Things are so effortless for him, but I think that the real secret for him is going to be to get on the artistic mark because it's going to be very difficult for anyone to outdo what Todd Eldridge did technically. Todd Eldridge in first place ahead of Elvis Stoiko, Takeshi Honda in third, right ahead of Michael Weiss of the U.S. Normally skating early as Eldridge did hurts his skater. So far it hasn't. Wonderful entrance into that double axle from the back inside edge. That's unusual. And by, by the way, if you're wondering why we are now calling him Kulik instead of Kulik, as he has been known to this point, he informs us that is the real pronunciation. He'd like to be called that from now on. Unlike Brian Boitano, who heard Dick Button call him Boitano, and he just went with it. Much to my parents' dismay. <laughs> position here is not good. The sitting position, not a correct one. Should be lower, the back should be straighter. But what flair and how fresh he is. Very exciting performer. Good stardom written all over him, especially after a second place finish a year ago at the World Championships. The crowd loving the performance of Ilya Kulik. We'll see what the judges think when we come back. We're back in Lausanne, Ilya Kulik of Russia with his new coach, Tatiana Tarasova. And look at this sit spin that he did. Now watch, first of all, he rises before he goes down. That's a no-no. Secondly, look at this position. It's not down far enough. The knees are too close together and the arms are sloppy. All you have to do is remember back to Dorothy Hamill to know what a good sit spin was. Now the first set of marks for required elements for Kulik. 5.6 up to 5.9. Oh, wow. And the second set will be very important as well for presentation. Remember, Todd Eldridge is the leader ahead of Elvis Stoiko at this point. And here are the marks for presentation. Those are good enough to put Ilya Kulik in the first place, but it's along with Todd Eldridge. A tie atop the leaderboard. 